as the steel is a software for design of steel members and components. It uses built-in sections databases for the information on the steel section properties. But what databases are available in ASDIP Steel? What kind of members can be designed? This is Javier Encinas. And today we're going to discuss the different databases that are available in ASDIP Steel to read the steel sections properties. Let's get started. When you open ASDIP Steel, you see the project manager. Here you can create a calculation. To specify the steel section database to use, go to settings, then steel database. These are the options. The first option is the latest AISC section database, version 15, but now ASIP still includes the European section database as well. Let's start with the AISC section database first. Click OK. To specify the unit system, go to settings, units. In this case, we're going to start with uh, US units, kips, feet, inches, and KSI for stresses. OK. Let's create a calculation, for example, for a steel column. Example. And this calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on the tree. And this is the template for the steel column design. It starts with a default section, W10 by 54, but we can change that if we want. To open the steel section database, click on the steel database button. And this is the AISC steel section database version 15, the latest. Here we can specify different types of sections, W sections, M, S, HP, HSS as well, pipes, channels, WTs, ST shapes, and angles, double angles. For example, if we specify another section, W10 by 26, click OK, that section is transferred to the template and all the calculations are based on the properties of these sections. So we can go to the Detail tab. All the calculations are based on these properties. Since we specify the US units, the database units are US as well. Inches, inches square, inches fourth. But if we change the units, for example, we go to this icon and specify SI units, metric units, OK? then in immediately all the units in the template are changed accordingly. Also, all the calculations are now in metric units. You see, kilonewtons, centimeters, megapascals. If we click on the steel database button again, now the steel database shows metric units, millimeters, cubic, millimeters, fourth, and so on. In addition, the label, the steel section designation, is also in metric units is equivalent to the US section that we saw previously. For example, if we click select, then the section shows the metric designation and also all the properties are in metric. If we go back to the project manager, let's create a calculation for a shear connection. Let's open this calculation. And this is a template for the shear connection design. Here in the support, tab, in the geometry tab, we can specify the support section, either a column or a beam. In this case, it's a beam web. We can, for example, say that it's connected to a column flange. And then we can change this default section. We click on the steel database. And again, we have access to the steel section database for the AISC. In this case, these sections are available, W, M, S, and H, P sections. Here we can enter any of the available sections, select, and then this section was selected in the template, and all the properties of that section are used in the calculations. If we go back to the project manager, but now ASIP still includes also another section database in addition to the AISC. ASIP still now includes European sections database as well. Let's click on that and select the European sections database. Click OK. Let's create, for example, a calculation for a steel beam. And this is the template for the steel beam section design. Here we can see that the default steel section is the European designation. If we click on the steel database, this is the database for the European steel sections. 
is no longer AISC but European. And here we can select any of the available sections in this database. For example, if we click on this section, select, then that section is transferred to the template and all the calculations are based on the properties of that section. Now, if we change the units, go to SI units, then click again to the steel section database. And now all these properties are in metric units, centimeters, centimeters for. Go to the detail tab. Then all these calculations are based on the properties of that particular section, and these are in metric units. Let's go back to the project manager. This time, let's change the unit system to SI. And then the steel database as European. OK. Let's create a calculation for a moment connection. Double click on the calculation to open. And this is the template for the uh, moment connection design in ASIP Steel. Here in the column tab, we can specify the column section if we click on the Steel database. And this is the European section database in metric units, as you can see here. Here we can select any of the sections. For example, let's select this section, click on Select. And then that section has been transferred to the template and all the calculations are based on those properties in metric units. If we click on the beam tab, here we can specify the beam section. If we click on the section database, for example, let's specify this section. And now the properties of that section has been transferred to the template. We click on the graph tab. And the images are generated according to the specified sections in the European sections database. In summary, there are two features now in ASIP Steel. First, that the section properties are shown in the corresponding units, either US units or metric units in the databases. And the second feature is that now the European sections database is included in ASIP Steel. In the previous version of ASIP Steel, only the AIGC section database was included. Now the European section database has been included as well. If you like the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.